Hi, my name is Matthew Koshi. I'm the product marketing specialist for Canon for projectors, and I'm here to talk you through our projector solutions that we have here at IC 2020. You have the AK projection system right here. How Abs do you do that? Absolutely. So what we have done is we have edge blended four of our native 4K projectors together to create a single 8K solution. This has been made possible with a Pixera 2 server, which is delivering all of the content and driving it to each projector. Where's the server? The server is underneath in this inbuilt rack. So you'll see and, it there. And how does it uh, merge all these different, is there a camera somewhere that kind of like gives it the feed or? No, so the server takes each feed, distributes it to each projector and accordingly edge blends it as well. So how big is the screen? This is a three and a half meter wide screen. So we're talking about uh, something like 250 inch or something diagonal? 158 inches diagonal. 158? Nice. So and this is using LCOS technology, right? LCOS technology, yes. So LCOS is liquid crystal and silicon. It's Canon's proprietary technology. How, how does it compare with the uh, LCD projectors, DLP projectors? What's achievable with LCOS? Because I see right here, you're talking about uh, 4K, 10-bit, um, GPX, 60 FPS. Uh, there's also an Intel Insider projector. Yeah, so that's core. is that, that inside? That's more related to the server, but oh, in, terms the server, of, yeah. in terms of the projector, yeah. the reason why LCOS is quite unique is yeah. because you'll have less gaps in between pixels, so our pixels are denser and thicker, so your image will appear smoother overall. So you'll get a lot, a lot more color richer images, and the image overall will be a lot smoother and clearer. So this is the the most cutting edge projector demo in the world right now, AK, it's, uh, it's not very often people show AK No, so, so 8, right? 8K projection is still quite limited at the moment, but because we've now got an 8K camera here as well, we're able to capture the input as well as display the output. So the content you're seeing on the screen there is all shot by Canon 8K camera. So we've got the input ready. We've got everything ready to kind of create an 8K imaging ecosystem. So this is 8K Super 35 millimeter. What is this 8K camera? So the camera is a, it's a professional video camera in terms of if you wanted more information about that, I can pass you over to the video right. specialist. And then there's uh, also a bunch of professional lenses. Mm -hmm. to People go with use it. that for, for movies? Yes, exactly. So in terms of the lenses we have, we always design the lenses first rather than design the hardware. So we want to make sure that 8K can go through the lens first. But as you can see on the screen, we're able to display 8K content via our input cameras. How, how far are we from a single projector doing 8K. Um, is this something that's going to happen in 2020? It has to happen before the Olympics, no? I can't, I can't, I can't tell you when it's going to happen, but maybe. Maybe. Maybe, it maybe. Could maybe it's coming. But right here, you have the four solution that also provides huge brightness. Yes, it does. Because each of them is doing how much brightness? 6,000 lumens brightness per projector. So. How much is a projector? One uh, of those? I can't is give you that price? rough figure at the moment, okay. but I can get that figure over to so This is for the professional market? Yes, so it's used a lot in simulation, it's used a lot in museum environment so every every kind of vertical you can imagine we use this in and the contrast is great yep very high contrast with LCOS technology and we've got a native 4k panel as well so our projectors don't use upscaling technology they're all native 4k projectors you don't do the oscillation that no. some of the cheaper DLP solutions do so our projectors are only native 4k so we don't, we don't use all right technology. all right and, uh, but Canon doesn't do these 4k projectors for the consumer market not currently we're more b2b focused but as I said, who knows where, where the future takes us. Right. And over here you see something that's you're talking about the Pro AV production simulator with a bunch of uh, cameras. What's it, what's happening here? Uh, so what we've done here is we've rigged three of our camcorders and one cinema camera. So we've got our entry level XA55 camcorder here. We've got our professional camcorder, the XF705 camcorder here and we've got our premium cinema camera, the EOS C200 camera here. So the idea here is to replicate a setup that was done in Germany, which you can see over there, where students were practicing videography and using a projector as a scene to, to shoot on. Projector as a scene? So instead of shooting directly out into the Rye at ISC, what yeah. we decided to do was use a concert style setting so people could simulate being a professional videographer. All right. Cool. And then uh, there's over here. 
a bunch of lenses. Yeah, so Canon this is lenses. our army of lenses, everything from projector to broadcast to cinema lenses as well. So Canon's heritage is in glass, it always has been. We've been making glass for a very long time. Um, lots of technology in doing good glass, it's not easy. No, it's not. So we're really proud of our glass making skills. We really like showing that we create the glass first and then design the hardware behind that as well. So this is the, the lightest, most compact native, native 4K, 4K projector from exactly. Canon? Exactly. 6,000 lumens, under 20 kilos in weight, one of the lightest on the market. And what you can also see here is our specialist 4K lens as well with it. So it's got the Canon red line around it to show it's for the L-series lens. Is that the same we saw before? The same projector? Uh, no, so this is a different lens. Uh, a different lens, but on is the it the same? The same projector, yes, that's yeah. correct. And what's happening here with the Seed 4K 6021Z? So it's the same projector as I said you saw at the 8K area, but it's using the 4K lens, which gives you true edge-to-edge -edge 4K resolution. Do you have any uh, um, sales in the, in the cinema market? or Are people uh, using this for cinemas or not really? Not at the moment for cinemas, but that is definitely a market we're looking to get into as well. So. Great. And uh, over here, we have uh, a robot. Is this a Canon robot? What is yes, this? Yes, so this is a new solution by Canon. So it's using our PTZ camera at the top, which is acting as the robot's eyes. And then, uh, and then there's the, a the actual of robotic here. arm is provided by Denso, the Japanese brand, is the robotic arm, which is doing all the movements at the moment. It's got and another the camera on there. Yes, and the software itself is Canon software too, so it's able to recognize which block is what, and the software tells it where to place it. All right, and what's happening here? Crystal clear brightness. Yes, so this is our brightest laser projector we do at 7,000 lumens, LCOS technology. Brightest lens. So the brightest projector. Projector. So 7,000 lumen laser, minimal maintenance, no lamps need changing, with our short throw 06 lens as well. So 0 0.5 lens ratio and very big vertical lens shift as well at 86%. All right. So this is an important show for Canon in, in terms of a. Uh, uh, the AV market. Yeah, so this is our biggest show for audiovisual in Europe. It's IC is massive. We're so pleased to be here. So it's always a big show for us here at IC for Canon. All right, and uh, this kind of market with the professional projection is is exploding, right? It's booming. Yes, absolutely. So Canon projection is still going strong for us. We're quite unique in that we make sure our brightness projectors are, are, are meeting our customer demands. So they're used a lot in simulation. Uh, we did a really big case study in Germany recently uh, for Dalmeyer and they used three of our native 4K projectors to create a 12K presentation wall. So we're going really strong in the simulation and corporate market and it's only hoping to grow this year as well for us.